Hey, Mike of Mike's Bags. Today I'm reviewing the Eclipse by Gnarly Bags. Let's go and dive in. We'll break these bags down. These Eclipse, these are carpet bags. These have the herringbone carpet. It's the more popular of the herringbone materials. There's, there's several different herringbone materials out there. This is the more common one, the one most of you are probably familiar with. Same material you find on the slow side of the BG Wizard, the Buffalo Fallout X and Savior, the uh, B3 Fatal, the X Level Counterpunch, the Cornhole Coastal Creature, Southwest Capo, Sure Shot Mutant. Yeah, I could go on and on. There are a lot of bags that use this type of herringbone material. Like I said, it's probably the one you're more familiar with. It's a wonderful material. It, it's, it's a very player-friendly material. It's a somewhat forgiving material. Speed-wise, I call it a five-speed, but when I review this, I always tell you it's a material you can manipulate. If you keep it clean, you, you get a fabric shaver and you shave the fuzzies off of this thing, you can get it playing like a five and a half, six-speed pretty consistently like, and that's where it plays when it's new as you break it in rough it up get it dirty it starts to slow down if you get it really dirty and don't clean it and keep it really fuzzed up it'll play like a four four and a half speed most people normal conditions it's kind of that five speed material so five speed on the slow side fast side this is this is very similar to that pro sniper viper deadhead fast side but it's not it's that material that's similar but not quite the same it's actually the material i like better it's the same material you find on the b3 fatal coyote ranger fast side the big mac whatever bag i just reviewed also uses that on the fast side it's you're starting to see more and more of this it's a softer feeling material than 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 that nine speed we're used to it still plays about a nine speed same as that pro sniper fast side but a better feel to it it's fast it's great for pushing collecting slide the boards in any condition so look at a five and nine speed on these eclipse bags the template wise this is i'm calling it a medium template bag but it's starting to border on that larger side it's not a large template but it's 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 a little above the middle line of medium so medium to medium large template on here medium amount of fill but because of that that the template it, the bag has a decent amount of flop to it which i like i really think a bag like this needs some flop to it so you're getting flop in here and the reason i think you need the flop is this herringbone carpet has a couple negative i think there's two kind of downsides to this one it has a kick to it if you don't throw a flat bag it's going to kick on you and and if you get a fuller version of, of a bag that has this material on it, it's really going to kick hard, really going to punish you. But when you add flop to this material, you, you, you take some of that punishing kick out. The bag lands softer, flattens out, doesn't kick as hard. So if you don't have a flat bag, but you've been wanting to throw a herringbone style bag or want to try it out, this Eclipse is probably a great option for you because, because of the flop it has in there and because of the fill. And then I mentioned it's a mixed fill in here. So it's, it's, got, it's, a, it's a great mixture of, of, of different types of fill in here, which gives the bag just enough movement that you can you can shape shots cuts rolls and flops but not a ton of balance or activity that it's going to punish you when it when it lands so again if you don't throw flat if you have a little bit of a tilt on your bag this eclipse is not going to punish you with the kick like some other herringbone carpet bags will the other knock on this material is it's it's not that hole friendly and i hesitate to say it because when i say that people are going to say oh no my bags are very hole friendly in the grand scheme of all bags, all materials, this is on the bottom half of whole friendliness as far as those materials go. And then it's not just this bag, any bag that has this hair carpet, it's just, the, the, when you get a material like this that has this much control, you're gonna lose whole friendliness because what gives this bag the control is that stickiness, that bite, the ability to grab when it lands and, and allows you to, to roll, cut, flop, and do all those crazy shot shapes with it. But what gives a bag whole friendliness is not having stickiness, not having bites, a slick material that just kind of slides with a little friction. So when you get more control, you're going to lose whole friendliness. When you gain whole friendliness, you're going to lose control. And it's the trade-off you get. And you have to find a bag that fits that balance for the style of play and what you're looking for. This bag has a ton of control to it. So you drop down a little bit of whole friendliness. But what Gnarly has done to it is by adding a mixed fill in here as opposed to going all flat fill, is, is you, you, you give some of that whole friendliness back to it. Like a flat fill with this material is makes the bags really want to hang but when you add this mix fill in here the bag does still kind of drip in really well and you've got the flop here which the flop gives the the, the bag the ability to grab that hole when you miss so i talked about forgiveness on the landing this bag also has forgiveness around the hole when you throw it up there if you're missing left or right of your mark as long as you can get that corner to grab it's going to spin around and come back in and with this mixed fill you'll get some of that dripping that cascading of the beads falling in and the bag dripping in and if the bag doesn't and it hangs there very collectible bag. You can you can easily clip it without having to go crazy after it and really grab the bag. You don't get super aggressive. So it, 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 I, I'm hesitant to say it's not whole friendly. In, in, in the scheme of bags and the way the bag is built and, and the design, the template, the the fill, the amount of fill, the type of fill, all this stuff and always done, this bag is on the whole friendlier side of herringbone carpet bags. And again, herringbone carpet is one of my favorite materials. I tend to love this material. And, and, and so 
don't hear when I say it's not hole friendly. Don't take that as a negative. It's just it's just it's just the way the material is. But again, you get the shot shape and abilities of that. These bags are ACL stamped for 2024. They have the pro stamp on them. So if you play an ACL event, you can throw these eclipses. Let's go ahead and dive in and talk about playability because I've already been kind of touching on that some. And this is the bag that's super versatile. One reason why I love this Harry and Bone material is the versatility you have with it. If you want to, you can run bags. You can go hole for hole. The day I did this recording here, it was really cold. Uh, but dry and so i was able to back boards are playing pretty quick so i was able just to run bags in the hole and you can see how well it does it running up there grabbing the hole going in it's phenomenal at that but you can also take this material because of the control you have and you can slow it down and you can play a dirty style game if you just want to be all dirty blockers all the time you know throwing two or three blockers and then trying to clean up at the end you can definitely do that with this bag you have that much control you have plenty of speed on this fast side to push through multiple bags to blow through piles to you can create that chaos and that congestion that you want and play more of a DPR style game instead of the PPR style game. And then if you want to play kind of a hybrid style where you're running bags in the whole one round, you're playing dirty style the next round, or maybe you're throwing, you know, you're throwing an occasional blocker here and there or whatever. It gives you the ability to really kind of play whatever style game you want. And that's what I love about this, this material, because when I pull this bag out, I can do some, I have so many options, but I can do anything I want to with it. As far as, as far as the shot shape I talk and the control you get, I have the options to throw cuts. You can roll it, you can flop it. You know, if your opponent throws a blocker, you have all kinds of ways to get around it, go over it. You can even go through it. You, you, it just, it gives you a ton of options with it. And, and, and it's a great bag for get around because it has the flop to it. You know, if your opponent throws a blocker up there, you can just step out and kind of come in, maybe aim for the corner of their bag and you'll spin around. As long as you get your bag to dip that corner, dip in, it's going to pull the bag back in for you. So a bag with this kind of flop is is, is awesome for the get around and, and playing against opponents who throw a dirty style bag. So the bag just gives you those options. And, and I love that because as, as a player, I always want to limit my opponent to, to one shot. Like I want to throw a bag and say, you know what, when I put this back here, my opponent's going to, going to have to back block, going to have to air mail, going to have to push or whatever. I like to put my opponent in a box and make them and give them only one option. But a bag like this, it, it, it your opponent can't do that to you because no matter where they put a bag up, no matter how they play, you have options. Collectability on this bag, even though it's got flop to it, I didn't really have a problem collecting. I be, and be, I think some because of the control you have, if I threw a blocker up there and I went a little further over than I wanted to put inside, I could come across with a little cut and it didn't take much. Just clip it and grab it and pull the bags back in. Like I said, if bags were hanging, if you left a bag hanging, they weren't hard to grab. It didn't take much. Sometimes there's a bag down the middle just to hit it, get it moving, would pull the bag in. If I really had to go after one, again, I could, I could throw a cut shot. I could step out and come in and and clip it again fast side if you're pushing multiple bags or you want to make sure you're pushing and following through in your last bag plenty of speed on the fast fast side to do that so i love the options this eclipse gives you in playability i just love the fact that you can you can mix and match your game style you can play how you want from round to round to me that's that's fun that makes cornhole fun i when i get up there and if i'm just playing the same style every round it gets kind of boring sometimes right i love the ability that i can just try different things out and, and this bag does such a great job of responding to it so it's a fun bag i, I if you if you've been looking to try a herringbones style material definitely give this this eclipse a try that leads me into availability and gnarly has a website gnarlybags.com i'll put a link in the description for you guys as always i also i have a discount code down there for you one of the reps that i've been dealing with gave me his discount code so i'll put that down in the description for you as well use that when you check out save you some money the bags were eighty dollars for a set it's like 950 shipping so just under 90 bucks shipped to you which is a great price for an acl pro stamp bag use a discount code you'll get it even cheaper than that definitely check out the eclipse i recommend them if you've thrown them drop a comment down below let me know what you like what you don't like always love hearing you guys opinions i thank you so much for your support and i thank you for watching